In this lesson, we are going to have a quick look at the electrical room. Um, we're in a ceiling plan. If I go back to my level one lighting plan and I pan over here, light, electrical equipment is turned on. And here's our main electrical room. This is the transformer that is sitting outside the building. And we've got our main switch here. We've got some conduit running up. Let's uh, change this to say fine detail. Okay, and we've got some panels and stuff. So this is our transformer. This is the main switch and we've got two conduits going up to electrical rooms on other floors. Then we have our main switch over here. Okay, uh, lighting and appliance, sorry. Um, and this is a distribution panel, I think. And then from there we have our uh, LP1B and mp1b we have a little transformer over here and then we have a pp1a panel over there okay so if you tab tab you can see that those that is is connected to here if you tab that's connected if you hit tab 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 when you tab over things in revit it cycles through the systems and the um network that is associated to it. So watch, if I just hit escape on the keyboard, if you hover over this, read your status bar down here, and you say, okay, that's electrical equipment, and there's some information. If you click on it, you can get more information about that particular device, and you can click on here and have a look at some of the data. Okay, elevation off the ground, four feet. Okay, escape, escape. Now, as we're starting to work through lights and stuff, you'll notice tab, tab, tab. You can cycle through the network and the circuit of the elements connected. So no different with panels. Tab here, tab, tab. And as you cycle through, it'll give you information as to how different things in electrical or mechanical, anything. This is all very typical in Revit MEP. You hover over something, you hit tab, and it'll grab everything connected to that. And you hit, that's the network. If you look in the lower left on the status bar, if I tab again, it's gonna show me the circuits. So tab, 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 and it doesn't matter which one you were to hover over, you'll end up with the same. The difference is this is the network, okay? Meaning the wires are connected. And But if I hit the tab key, that is a circuit. That little, you know, these six lights are a circuit. And if you look at this, it's going to say, okay, and the, you know, what's that? Uh, number of poles, one power, and some information there. Okay, the circuit number hasn't been named. Maybe it hasn't been added to the panel yet. So we're tabbing and going through. Okay, so in on our main floor, we've got an electrical room here. And then if we go up to our second floor and zoom out, I believe the electrical room is, no, is it in the same place? Oh, I'm in the wrong area. Yes, on the second floor, the electrical room is over here. So we have more panels. Tab, in the C tab, tab connected, okay. And then if we go up to the third floor, I believe same thing. On the upper right, we will see the next electrical room over here. Okay, we can see some piping and stuff. Change this to say fine detail. You can see this is a home run coming back to the panel. We'll talk about that. So we've got lights, we've got wiring, we've got circuits, we've got networks. Tab, tab, that is a network, which means they're all connected from wires. Tab again shows me the circuit. Tab again shows me the circuit and the network and again, and cycling through, okay, same as over here. Tab, tab, there's the network. That's the whole um, circuit three. Oh, they are all on the circuit. Oh, that's circuit two. Oh, I see. Circuit three, and then this one just groups them all together. Okay. So again, tabbing, you can kind of see how things are connected. So back to our good old ceiling plan over here. 
And what we're going to do now is we're just going to make some circuits here and then we'll take those circuits and when you add them to the panel, they show up in the panel and the panel schedule. Okay, um, they're not showing up here because I'm in a reflected ceiling plan. So making circuits is really easy. All you have to do is grab your objects and you can grab them any way you want using your control button and then you go up here and you click power if they're not already in a circuit. If it's in a circuit, the power button won't be available. It'll say edit circuit instead. Power button creates a circuit. And then circuit, um, schedule circuit notes. I don't need to put anything in. For the time being, that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm gonna make sure these two are turned off and I'm just gonna speed this up a bit. I'm gonna go window box, go like this, power circuit. Go like this. Power. Have all these lights. If there's if there's something other than lights, this again the power circuit won't won't allow it. Now let's grab just these six. Okay, so that's it. These are oops. These are making circuits. And if we were to look in our project browser right now, we'd have a bunch of new circuits going in. Let's do that. View interface or system browser, I should say. And if I if I hover over this guy and hit tab and then click, something's gonna turn blue. Oops, let's do that again. Tab, click, there it is, turns blue. Open it up, there's those lights. There's my six lights, isn't that wonderful? Okay, you can see them turning blue over here. So I can pick the light in here or I can pick it over here. It is unnamed, okay? But when you add it to a panel, it'll get a name. So we've, um, let's just squish this down a little bit. Room Running out of room here. So what we've done, tab, click, that's a circuit. Tab, click, that's a circuit. Tab, 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 click. Okay, now if you wanted to, now you can say edit circuit. Now everything gets grayed out except for what's in the circuit. If you want to remove uh, something, you say remove from circuit, this guy and this guy and this guy. For whatever reason, they're emergency lighting or something and then click out. So now if I hover, tab, tab, click. Okay, those guys are in a circuit, but these guys, if I pick on here, he is not in a circuit. So let's add them back in. Tab, click on the circuit, edit the circuit. I can go pick a panel right here and now off of my panel list. Okay, I'm not going the most efficient way. I'm going step by step here, but you can definitely go in and add to circuit. Oh, add this guy and this guy. If you pick on another light, it'll remove it from this circuit and add it to this circuit, believe it or not. If I pick on here, it'll bump that into this circuit. Done, finish. Adding those lights back in there, escape, escape. Okay, so we've um, created some circuits and had a look at the edit circuit to add and remove. And next we will add um, the circuits to uh, the panels.